Hey guys, want to build a robot? Hey guys, we're out here in normally very sunny Southern California testing something I've been waiting to test for days. So it's been super rainy here recently and I haven't been able to test the actual range of our ESP Now based controller. And that test happens today. I've got a measuring wheel right here. I've got my ESP Now based controller and I've got our ESP Now uh, based robot and we're gonna see how far I can walk away and still receive communication. Let's give it a shot. Now, this test would not be possible without the help of my lovely wife, Jess. She'll be manning the computer here, reading our ESP Now data, being sent to our ESP Now based robot. Okay, let's give it a shot. Now, we ran this test a few different times with a few different antennas and got pretty similar results, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, now, admittedly, we hit a patch of trees that was pretty heavy right around 500 feet, um, and that's about the range that we got. And so I'd love to run this test again um, in a big open field, but I've got to find just the perfect field to do that. Uh, unfortunately, the rain has come back and it's really, really storming like crazy out there. And so we'll have to leave our tests, at least for today, at that. Um, so. I tested this 2.4 gigahertz antenna, uh, and now this is probably the most common antenna. You know, you see these with the uh, NRF 24L01s. Um, and so to get this hooked up to the ESP32 with the external antenna, all I had to do was use this uh, U.FL to SMA connector. Uh, and so that's a U.FL to female SMA connector. Uh, and that made connecting these antennas right here super, super easy. Um, and so I've been loving using these ESP32s with the external antenna. Um, they're a little bit wider than some of the other ESP32 uh, boards, but having that external connector makes it really, 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 really useful. Um, I've also found myself, if I don't need super long range, just using one of these connectors right here. Um, this little U.FL connector is, um, is really useful for this little tiny antenna. And so um, there are tons of options to get some range. So at this point, I'm happy with 500 feet. I think if you're controlling a robot, um, and maybe even have an FPV camera uh, set up, that range is gonna match pretty well. Um, I am determined to go further. I really wanna see how far we can take this. Uh, but for right now, I'm really excited about this. Uh, so this ESP Now controller, uh, I'm still making a few changes on it. Um, we also have our ESP32 based robot I'm still working on. Uh, I'm gonna have some posts and some videos of that really, 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 really soon. Um, but it's not quite ready and so, if you're interested in learning how to set up a controller for your ESP32 based robotics projects using ESP Now, um, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of those tutorials. Uh, of course, we also have our Instagram posts and uh, we have our website, anyonecanbuildrobots.com too. So keep your eye out for those tutorials. I'm really excited. Uh, overall, I have been really, really impressed with ESP Now. Um, all right, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, thanks so much for watching.